Hello, I'm Stumpy the Squirrel. Let's make a game with RPG in a box. In this tutorial, we'll create and layer some wall tiles in our map. Let's get started. Start up RPG in a box and open your How to Make a Game project. We're going to make a log wall, so let's start with the welcome sign and convert it to a tile. Open the sign in the voxel editor, then click the save as button on the toolbar. Choose tile for type, then enter log wall for the name and click OK. Erase the top section to remove the signboard. Switch to the add voxel tool and add one layer to the top of the logs using face mode. Finally, use the paint tool in box mode to add some lighter brown for the log centers. Since we want the wall to automatically remove navigation paths when placed in the map editor, ensure that the passable property is disabled on the model properties tab. Save the model, then open the forest village map in the map editor. RPG in a box's grid-based system allows only one tile per coordinate in the map. A coordinate is a unique position within the map and consists of an X, Y and Z value. When placing a tile, this coordinate is displayed in the lower right corner. As shown, if you attempt to place a tile at a coordinate that already has a tile, it will remove the existing tile and replace it. Press Ctrl Z or click the undo button to get our grass tile back. In this case, we really want to place the wall on top of the grass. To do so, the grid height can be adjusted vertically, either using the green arrow buttons at the top right, or by holding shift and scrolling the mouse wheel up and down. Increase the grid level by 1 so the Z value is now at 1 instead of 0, then place the wall again. As you can see, the editor automatically removes any navigation lines surrounding the grass on which the wall was placed. This is because the wall is configured as impassable. Click the mouse and drag it to place a few more walls to the left. Now let's layer some walls above the existing ones by raising the grid level 8 units for each layer. When placing tiles, Holding the control key down and clicking on an existing tile will move the grid to match the Z level of that tile. Leaving an opening for a gate, place some walls in a similar fashion on the right side of the map, using the control plus click method to quickly adjust the grid height for each layer. For extra credit, follow what you learned in episode 5 and change your startup script so I'll spawn in front of the opening in the wall. Save the map, then start your game using quick play. Walk around the map to view your newly added walls. Since the navigation paths were removed when placing the walls, you'll be unable to walk through them, as you would expect from a wall. Congratulations, you now know a bit about the tile coordinate system, and how to put things on top of other things. Thank you so much for watching, my dear friend. You are a lovely and wonderful person. Until we meet again.